Hello friends, this video is all about how we will send the PHP values or uh, form values to a next page. So let's start with the our first page that is our index page index.php or index.html sorry if we will run this page okay we have this one we will remove this so let's we'll make it send form values to next page yeah that's right so uh, for sending the values, we will use form tag. We will uh, it's f o r m form. Please uh, always remember that it's f o r m. I have seen many people that they are using f r o m from. And every time they will do this, they are under very serious problems. So, let's create two inputs. type is text id name placeholder we just copy and we just paste it and we just use one more get value send values this is our button so we'll use it to submit submit We'll change it to submit now we will name them also and uh, first name enter last name we will give them a name first last last name first so uh, you can see that we have one first name field one last name field and one submit button we will just refresh our page so we are having enter first name and last name and a button send values we will make it a bit more clear hmm. so it's more clear now so now uh, how we will send the values for sending the values we have to use action and what kind of uh, uh, you can say transport system or uh, like we are using uh, if we want to show the values in our URL then we will use method as get and if you don't want to show the values in the URL then you will use post what's the difference let me tell you the difference uh, we will use the get here and we will just refresh the page now if you will click on this send values you will see that there is some parameters are added to the URL that is first last and submit all of them are first last and submit if we will remove the submit and we will do this hmm. so there is no submit because we don't need the submit button name at least right now we don't need the submit button but in our next video you will see that we really need the submit button because we want to find out if we have three to four forms in our single page and we want that which form sub, uh, which submit button is pressed that time we need the submit button name so let's come back to our topic uh, right now we will use so uh, uh, we have to send the values to a uh, next page so we will just create another file we'll just create another file that is php file uh, it can't be the 
<coughs> HTML5 because uh, for getting the values we have to use the server side or uh, PHP language so for using the PHP tags we need a PHP file that is dot PHP file not dot HTML file if we use the dot HTML file then no any PHP dot PHP that or you can say the PHP tags will work in dot HTML file so we will create a form values so uh, this is an empty file now what we will do uh, first of all we will just enter the our first name then we will enter the last name and then we will click the submit button when we will submit uh, then when we will click the submit button we want that our values will go to this page and we will receive the page uh, we will receive the values in this page and we will show the values to whatever we will save the values or we will show the values to our uh, same page so we will just name here we will just enter here so now we will use this we have entered our page where we want to send the values so the form tag will use action tag and method tag as you can see uh, sorry these are attributes uh, now the what our form tag will do form tag uh, when we press the submit button our form tag will send the values to the form values dot php which and it will use get method and for getting those values in our next page we will use the same echo dollar get and we will use the input type name if we want to use the uh, value of uh, if we want to get the value of first input then we will use first here if we want second input value that is our last we will use this now if we will run this we have this form we will enter Vivek Moel we have just sent the values as you can see we are now on form values.php in the first parameter we are you we are using uh, yeah we can see that in the first parameter there is Vivek and the last parameter there is a value of Muel as you can see we are also showing the values by using the echo so if we will change this to post we will come back to our page and just refresh it so now as you can see we have the post method in our form we will just use Vivek Moel again and we'll just send the value but as you can see under the URL there is no any parameter and in the page there is no any value just a notice is there and if you if you will see there is get method so as I told you the method and for getting the values we should use always the same thing if you are using the form as in post then you should use the form uh, you should use the post here so we will use post we'll just save it we'll just go back we'll just send the values and you can see all the notices are gone and we are having the values in that form and we will use space here so the name will show a space here oh sorry 
we have to refresh as post values are gone again we will write vivek moel and uh, url is not showing any parameters and any values but we are having the values but if you will just refresh the browser confirm the resubmission if you will continue the values will remain the same if you will just refresh without confirmation the values will gone but if you will use the get method same here we will use the get method get method and we will just send the values refresh the page awake hmm. you can see the values are there and the values are there if you will refresh the page whatever how many times you want to refresh the page whenever you have this portion in your url you will always get the values one more thing if we will remove this then what will happen if we will refresh it because firs firs is there is no any name regarding this firs we have first so we have to use first here so it's all about the tutorial thank you for watching please share comment if you have any issues please comment if you like the video please subscribe our channel thank you